So I noticed something. Um, I keep writing and making the same types of home movies with the same theme over and over again, always featuring highlights and happy moments with my family, but usually with some melancholy overtones. I figured that I was just trying to do what we're all doing, capturing good times so that we'll be able to reflect on them later. But the moment that I realized the truth behind why I'm so desperate to record our lives, my heart seized up with the pain of something terrible clicking unwittingly into place. Some realizations are so painful that only an idiot would think to entertain them. As someone raised in the LDS faith, for as long as I can remember, I felt a responsibility to do my part in ensuring that my family stays together forever. Even though my views have become secular as an adult, this feeling of responsibility has not changed. These pictures, movies, and stories are my attempt at thwarting mortality and even time itself, all while knowing that this can't be done. Not really. But maybe that's okay. I'm not going to make the silly mistake of not even trying just because something's impossible. When I tell you what I'm afraid of, you'll think it's ridiculous, but please hear me anyway. I'm scared that heaven is real. Because I've seen it, and even now it looks back at me through the thick, warped glass of time always inviting me in, always from the other side of the same endless glass. I'm scared to think that heaven is a truly necessary place that each person has to find a way to make for themselves. Because I don't know if I can. It's like I can see the pieces needed to build it, but assembling and holding them in place indefinitely is too big a burden for this lone, scattered mind. I'm scared that my disorganized attempts at creating my own solace will come crumbling down the moment that I face real loss. I'm so scared. I want. No, I need. For heaven and meaning and God, love, purpose, beauty and justice to all the objective things that exist independent of individual perspective. Like proud, thick pillars that are ever vigilant to do the work of keeping humanity propped up instead of the other way around. I need the love I feel for my family to be a physical manifestation that will wrap us all in its warm, golden glow and protect us from time and suffering. But, while there's no doubt that love is very much real, its domain is the realm of the subjective making what I need from it impossible. And it breaks my heart. Because love feels so much bigger than that. It feels like it should easily overcome physical possibility and help us transcend time. Regardless, what I can do is record a few snippets of our lives and see that those recordings are protected for at least a while. Maybe long enough that someday our great-great-grandkids can see this and hear how I loved them 100 years before they took their first breath. But who knows? Maybe all these attempts to reason everything out have only muddled my ability to see the truth. And after I die, some part of me will continue to exist. Maybe, if I've outlived her, I'll be greeted by my mom and my soul will get to collapse into our arms. It's just the way it happens in my dreams. I hope so. But I try not to look for what I hope to find, but instead to just look. And not presume to know the answers to questions I'm not even sure are the right ones to ask. For whatever reason, my adult mind can't weave the supernatural aspects of the beautiful ideology of my childhood into the fabric of my reality. Even so, I will never let go of you people that I love so much. I will 
will take you, roll you up tightly, and bury you so deeply in my heart that on that quiet night when death comes for you, she will never find you here. Instead, she'll find the force of all your life shining in my chest so brightly as to chase off the dark of night and her along with it. I will do this and I will not give a care to the impossibility that I know it to be. But, just in case, I'll also make a video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>